And good morning and welcome back to Horizon 1.8. Hope you're well, hope you're keeping safe. This is a very brief video on how to make caps. Now, we haven't got Heidi today. She's, she's just heard something outside, so she's wandering around. Anyway, right, so we're just back to Sanctuary. Uh, first job is summon Wilson. If you have Wilson, that is. If you're using him, fine. If you're not, it's still fine as well. Uh, let's have a look at his... Right. You see, Wilson has got loads of stuff. And we until we have automatic drop-off, he won't lose that. So, by doing that and summoning, that means he's going to drop everything off in here, in the production storage section where we've already got stuff from previous visits so or summons anyway first thing to do is i want to get tidied and organized now this is caps and do you sell stuff or do you not now for instance i could sell that pistol for 23 caps but bear in mind you the best you'll get is half of that figure um, and if you're in desolation mode the best you'll get is only 25 percent of that figure so you have to look at it and go that's for scrapping now i like having pistol parts around so the first thing we're going to do is field scrap stuff that is not of value or i want the scrap of see that's got no value so there is literally no point the messenger bag sells for 10 and this is all stuff i've picked up so while we're looking at that, the next thing to do is I want to check out my junk. Now, first thing I'm going to do, I use my storage one, the stuff I'm going to sell. That shouldn't be in there. That's see, this is all about being yeah, deliverer. I want to keep that. So, if we go to storage one, first things to do. What do I want to sell? Uh, do I want to sell any of these? No. Clothes wise, yeah. Now, you will see, every, even tattered rags. Now, quite often I won't take tattered rags. However, because they have a weight of two and a value of one, always half it. But, you know, if I've got the space, a cap's a cap's a cap. The best cap value for uh, weight are goggles, bandanas. You always get one cap for those. Uh, so it's bandanas, goggles, caps, hats. And then that's a mod, so we ignore that. And then we've got all of these. That's a mod as well. So you see, although it's been enhanced, I get the clothes. But when you go down here, you get between two and four caps on average. Sometimes a bit more. Uh, the bomber jacket, for instance, which is part of standard Fallout 4. That will get me about 15. Because it's kind of rare. Right. Do I sell drugs and everything? Sometimes I will sell jet if I've got lots. And I look at my drugs and I go, hmm. I like to have at least two on me at all times because I don't use a lot of drugs. Do I sell any of this stuff? No. <clears throat> I don't sell these either until the mid to late game and this character is only level 13, so not yet. Tools, um, you can get rid of those to the brother to steal through the trading and it is better to trade rather than get rid of. That makes sense. So if we move on to, I always never sell the books because you don't get anything for them. Not through this. Right, now the next stage here is this is the stuff that I have picked up or scrapped on my way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort for value. Because I have learned that things like steel, for instance, by the time you get to your late 20s, early 30s level, You'll have 12 to 15,000 steel that you aren't going to use for anything. So, if I've already highlighted it, and this is stuff I want, 
these aren't highlighted but i will don't ever get rid of alloys scissors precision tool now if i had more than one i would sell it but i like to keep a selection of them uh cork crystal uh cork is for armor and things crystal no silver now when you see a, a silver oh one silver is worth don't forget half of that so it's three but it's still pretty good um none of that torn scrap so is there anything in here i'm gonna get rid of well yep bottles i have enough glass and each one is worth a cap damage round never because they have smokeless powder uh ceramic has no value and now as you scroll down you see we're all in the zeros nothing so if we come out of there and oh and i press that button and i scrap those so the first thing you need to do is when you want to make caps is scrap is pick up everything but before you scrap it look at its value now i'm just going to dump all of that away so you can see now that all of my stuff is tidied uh, get rid of that 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 they're all the rations just put some rations away nope dirty water all of this i want to keep straightforward and easy um cigars we will use those at mid to higher level and you can use those to buy weapons for your companions you have companions um clean bottles you need those for purified water and as i mentioned you can get rid of those too what's the names right no nothing nothing never sell uh, ammunition i will scrap it or use it okay so wilson i'm just waiting on you to head home so i'll bring you back in a second as soon as he's gone home oh actually i'll tell you another idea i had as well um if you have the automaton uh, mod installed wow everyone's just staring at me if you have the automaton mod installed what happens is in the game the minute that you start playing the game you get an ungodly amount of raids from rust devils now the rust devils and this is um sort of a cheesy way of getting caps but it still works the rust devils all have uh robot armor and robot armor is never depleted or broken. It's always in pristine condition. So you can, if you organize a settlement properly, so what you can do, oh, yes, he's off now. If you set it up so that your defense is poor, but you have a lot of materials in it, i.e. your prime workshop is there, or you set up a workshop that isn't connected to your main settlement um, setup. So it is isolated and you are deliberately putting bait in there, which is food and junk, really. Because all of those things will help. And if you have your defences set up on a switch so that they are powered, and you use the Fallout 4 type setups, your defence would be incredibly poor which means that your chance of getting a raid is increased uh, because in horizon it is decreased but i do think the automaton tends to override that certainly i've noticed that until um because i've got a mod that decreases the automaton attacks but i still get a fair number of them while i'm doing that particular dlc so uh, you could use a place as bait to get stuff now um here we go if we go here production storage take it all you're okay. gonna drag that junk around oh yeah i am okay make sure it's all empty good now again we, i'm just gonna head straight here and we go to the sell stuff now there are stuff in here that i could sell i will scrap that because shotgun parts are useful in settlement building uh that one though would sell uh, a hunting rifle i've already got one 
Now, hunting rifles seem to be a bit of an exception because you notice it's degraded by 10%, but it's still worth 78. We could probably get rid of that. See, that's worth 30. Never copper or lead pipes are worth too much. I want to play with that, and I want to play with those. All right, so let's ignore those for the minute. Uh, oh, no. Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, Brotherhood fatigues, you see, they're worth 10. Uh, super mutant stuff. This stuff can be worth it if you're not collecting power armor. 25. And if you look, even the broken ones, they have a naught weight. Yet they're still worth 25 caps. You can sell the electronic uh, lock boxes and the lock boxes as well. They have value, but I just hold on to them because that's me. Um, again, not selling drugs. I could sell jet. Um, I don't sell my food until much higher level. I will sell wine, uh, but none of this is for sale. Now, again, I use these all the preserve cigarette pack I would sell um, you can get more money for it later in the game jangles you can sell for vendor credits um, the charge card will only ever sell for one cap except you can sell one of them for 100 caps to the vendor in Far Harbor just in the main port itself you can only sell one of them and you get 100 caps for it um, overdue books are only worth two and Z now it says it's 50 uh, so it's 25 I've never found anyone who buys those if you do find one please let me know right now on all of these things they all have a value and again it's not it's not a quick process I'm afraid but it is a process that will net you caps as you can see this is my level 13 character I've played from start to finish and the vast majority of the time has been recorded and yet I've still got 7,000 caps following this process. Now I want those going to make buttercups yeah, few balls, a lot of this stuff isn't going to sell, um, green paint really annoyingly has no value because it's a quest item. Okay as we mentioned those, now you see the gold bars Wilson picked them up. I've no idea where from. Now, gold watches. Uh, we have a spring, uh, some gold and gear, but that's going to be 30 odd. So I will sell three of those. <clears throat> acid, I want, and acid, I want more than plastic. Uh, let's scrap down cement. I want cement for building at the moment. Uh, you can sell educational material. If you don't want research stuff. You could sell that antique globe if it says antique i tend to sell them i know the cork is useful but there are other sources of cork at this moment in time um, unless you are desperate for cork in which case hold on to those uh, mutated tissue the mutated stuff i'll need later on not all of it once you get all your armor and everything sorted out you can get rid of that stuff really because it's, it's going to be what 12 and a half caps Keep scrolling down, mutated tissue, again, same thing. Um, but that's just a globe, not anything, not antique. So that one is 25, and they are 28. So not a lot in it, but I'll keep that. More mutated, as you can see, the value of things. A silver bowl, um, that's worth 10. That's, it's got two silver in it, that we could get rid of. Uh, gold now you see now this is interesting because if we take the silver bowl for the minute gold one piece of gold so that's just is worth 10 um, now two bits of silver are worth or one piece of silver in this case is worth five I wonder if we can scroll down to silver have I got anything here we are have I got any silver or there it is now silver is worth three so silver on its own would sell for three caps but if we scroll back up here to like the silver fork that will sell for six now in this is the reverse of what it is like in 
standard Fallout 4. So that's what I mean. A lot has changed in Horizon. You have to look at something and go, and the silver fork and the silver locket and the silver plate, you can quite happily get rid of. And all I do is I scroll down and let's see if we can find something that is a perfect example. Uh, for eight, no, I'll keep that for the time being. If it's got a mark on it, obviously I don't. Toy, toy cars, wooden screws for seven, but screws are very useful in the future. Now, oh, here we are. Um, so, brooms. Now, a broom is a simple tool, but you don't need many simple tools. However, they're worth three caps each. Mops, paintbrushes, uh, plungers, shovels. They're all simple tools. They all do the same job, so you don't need them. Uh, what have we got down here? And you have to look at things. And it's a very different way of looking at stuff. Because if you want to make caps, then you will need lots of caps at a higher level, or even at lower level, to be honest. Uh, that's got some rubber in it. So, here we are. Uh, ceramic. I know this is a sin to a lot of you out there. Uh, if you want caps, sell them. You will have enough. Provided you don't sell everything. Uh, two caps. One, eight. One, out. Uh, shopping baskets, plastic and steel. Used ashtrays. Uh, I'm going to keep that one. But steel, for instance, perfect example. Uh, ceramic. Yellow plate. Oh. You set. Okay, you get the idea. I'm teaching you how to suck bricks now, but here we are. Precision tools. You will need some. I, if it's surgical, I keep them separate. I just like to keep them. What you need to do is scroll down and go through the entire list before you scrap it. Uh, if you don't scrap it, fine. But I tend to scrap all of my stuff so that I've got a better idea when I look of what have I actually got. And we come down here. I want to find things that. Where are we? Here we are. Uh, red box. And uh, here we are. Kitchen tools. You use those for making uh, cookers and those sorts of things. Uh, you're not going to make many of them. Uh, coffee cups. I have 70 coffee cups, which will give me 70 ceramic. Uh, we will get rid of half of them. Now, uh, I, if I've got a lot of bet bottles, I get rid of them, because each one is worth a cap. Uh, there we go, enamel buckets, steel. And this is the process I will go through repeatedly to get myself some caps. It's not quick. I think I've already said that. Empty uh, milk bottle, all of those. Empty paint cans, steel. Where are we? And we're getting down to just one cap. Now, as you see, there comes a point when the common tools, once you scrap them, they all become those. They are not usable in any way. It's just a number. That's why you have to do it beforehand. And all of these things now scrapped have no intrinsic value. All of these do. So, and then when I've done, I will just literally scrap it all. Get rid of those. Get ready to put them in there. Come on. Um, any other ideas? Now, I haven't found anything yet that has um, a value that is a making value which is less than the selling value i haven't found anything yet that you can make drugs or anything along those lines that has a value or oh, actually hang on 
was reminded of something a while ago. M station. You came to visit. No, go away. Um, I almost thought you wouldn't. Remedies. Um. Ito. Now there is something that uses. Oh, is it? Can Here we go. All right. You can make berry mentats, for instance. Now you can always make drugs. However, bear in mind that's two tarberries. I've only got three, and I'm level thirteen, and I've only managed to pick up three so far because I will not use them until I get them set up. Uh, buff jet. 75 but bearing in mind you get half of that so let's have a look shall we a buff jet is worth 75 which okay and if we have a look at are we up chems there we are ah right uh jet buff jet is worth 40 and a buff out is worth 80. So those two are worth 120. So by confirm, combine, combining the two, I'm actually losing money. And I believe a lot of what Zywanol has done is that way orientated. So if anyone out there has found something that does, is worth more after it's made rather than left. Yep. Prepared for the future. Easily distracted. That's me. So there you go. Um, how do I make caps? Uh, it's I scavenge everything from a pair of glasses uh, up to a teacup. All of those things, and then I will sell them because I want to make as many caps as I possibly can. Because there will come times when I want to buy smokeless powder or any of those sorts of things, and I want the caps to do it. So I hope that's been helpful. And forgive me rambling on. I was supposed to do this in 10 minutes and it's taken me over 20. Um, just leads me to say a huge thank you to all who have watched, left likes, commented or subscribed. Thank you all so very, very much. And if you have enjoyed what you've seen, then please consider doing likewise. Otherwise, between vids, take care, keep safe. And as always, if you're unfortunate enough to be not very well, I hope you feel the best you can as soon as possible. That all for now. Take care all. Bye bye.